Hello and welcome back to 3D Drawing for Model Railway. In the last episode, we've drawn the WI or representation of the WI for the wagon that uh, we're working on here, which is the electrification wagon. Um, that's about as far as we can get now with the items that are symmetrical to a quarter. Um, so if we look at the wagon now and we'll try and work out where we can go symmetrically from here. If you look at the, the railings here, we've got two panels, then a gap which is obviously a doorway because there's a sliding bar that looks like it slides across here to close this off and then four panels and if you look on the other side you've got one two panel the doorway and then one two three so symmetrically these are in half um, so we can draw we, we, can sum, we can mirror across the quarter of the wagon we've done into the other half lengthwise along the wagon and then draw these railings on um, We've uh, got the handbrake to work on and the vacuum cylinder underneath. Now, with the handbrake, again, these are handed, so we can't copy these across. They're not, we're not able to mirror them um, because the, the, the hanger here on the other side is actually on this position here. So they, these are completely independent. We'll have to draw these two um, separately. So if we look at the railings to start with, if we go into fusion and look at the canvas now, the plan for the wagon is completely different to what we've got on every single photo i've got on the wagon so as you can see here this is 50 50 symmetrical half to half where it's completely the opposite of what we've just looked at also if we look this stanchion here and i'm sure the rest of the stanchions are the same this stanchion here is between the first and the second of these two supporting beams but if we try and find a photo that shows the end there, which I can scroll to. One that looks at one pretty much square on. This one here. You can see that this stanchion is actually between the second and third pillar, sort of in line with the end of the W iron, which is completely going against what's on the plan. So we'll have to sort of leave the plan a little bit to work out where the uprights are. The, the vertical, I'm quite happy to put that in, in this position here and then just work from there, but the uprights will do independently. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is mirror this up into the half of the wagon. So simple operation, select the mirror tool, select body, select the body that we're using, which is what we've drawn so far. In the mirror plane, I'm going to turn the origin off, it shouldn't even be on because it was grayed out so we turn that off so we can select this inside face and then it will mirror across now you can see in the middle here why I only did this center one is 0.15 on the extrusion so that when it mirrors across it gives us that 0.3 that we've got for all the rest of the, the planks there okay so then we're going to draw on all these uprights now this is going to be a bit of a um, working out from the photos and trying to do our best try and make it work so that everything sort of fits where it should do. Um, so if we look at the photos, these actually sit on the outside of the wooden planks here. Okay, the first one's gonna be pretty simple, it's gonna be right in the corner here. So we draw a sketch. We're gonna use this face here, which is the outside of the planks to draw on. I'm gonna turn the canvas on so we can see what we're drawing. So first of all, it's gonna be a simple rectangle. We're gonna start at the bottom of the planks. We're gonna drag it upwards to the top okay and i'm going to give it a thickness i'm going to go for 0 0.7 millimeters okay and the height i'm going to go for seven millimeters okay now this is going to be over scale thickness but unfortunately if we don't give it a thick enough then when it goes to print it will just be all floppy and fall apart so i'm going to select these two profiles and then extrude and i'm going to drag that Again, I'm going to be looking for 0.7 millimeters. Okay, so the next one we said, sort of halfway between these two diagonal uprights, sort of in line with the end of the W iron here. So again, same thing, select that front edge. Now you could just draw all these independently, so on the same sketch and move each one along. But I'm going to draw them on separate ones because I'm going to be flipping backwards and forwards. So again, we're just going to snap it to the same height so it's going to be 0.7 and we said seven millimeters high 
and I'd select those two and extrude it towards us by 0.7 millimeters. Okay, so if we look at the, the next one along, so that's these first two. The next one is sort of, yeah, halfway between, or a little bit over halfway between these two. Okay, but actually, we can define this one. Let's edit that sketch. We can do the left and right design to define. Select that corner. Okay, so the next one we said was sort of this sort of position here. So we can draw again on that same surface. Not point seven by seven. Those two features and extrude by 0.7. So the next one along is here. Okay, so that's slightly beyond. No, sorry, next one along is this one here. Um, so that's slightly this side of the midpoint of the wagon. And we know the midpoints of the in this position here. So we're going to draw a sketch. Again, and we're selecting sort of about this position, 0.7 by 7. And we define that position relative to the end, 23.6. And select those two profiles. Again, you can extrude, you can type in your 0.7, or you can just snap to the front there and it'll automatically select it to the same. Like this one independent. Let's just check those extrusions there. They should all be joined. So we can open those to join rather than going and combining them. Okay, so that's the first four done. And then the last one is again sort of just beyond the halfway point there. Is it relative to this stanchion? So that stanchion is there. So yeah, sort of halfway between those two sort of positions. So you can see the midpoints there. So we're going to select that position. 0.7 by Select that front face. Okay, so that's these first ones done. I've got the ones to do at the other end now. Obviously, starting at the other end is going to be pretty simple for the first one. Select the corner. I'm going to do 0.7 by 7. And then we can extrude those forwards. Okay, so the first one along from this end is just after the second of the support structures, so that position here. That position there. Okay, so 0.7 by 7. And then extrude them. And join. The last one's sort of halfway between the first and fourth stanchion. So let's do the same thing. Okay, 
Okay, so there's our, our bytes. Oops, that didn't extract, so I'm going to bank on that. There's all that bytes, as we said. Now, what I will be doing is I'm just going to flip back and forth just to sort of check the spacing. Um, I think this spacing might need to change slightly. This might need to come back towards us. If I do it, we'll do the upright, sorry, the vertical horizontal beam all the way across first and then work from there. So we draw on that base, go to sketch, the top corner, we're going to do 0.7 by 0.7. Select that and extrude to this one here. Click join. Edits, sketch. No, actually, that's fine. Extrude that. We're going to extrude it starting from there. No. Starting from this panel here, so the fourth. So we can start there, that's fine. Um, distance and two objects. That's actually not that bad at all. Okay, so we've now got that railing all the way along the wagon. So, yeah, as I said, now I'm going to check. What do my spacings look like? Do they look like the right place or I need to move them slightly? Okay, so the first thing I'm thinking is these two panels look pretty much the same on the photo. So I'm going to adjust the panels here so that they match. So if we uh, look at the sketch here for this word, first one, we find out the dimension. No, it'll be the second one. That one there. Find out the dimension we've got from the side, which we haven't defined. What we did in mind. So that's going to be from there to the end of the wagon. 10.16 on that end. So if we come across to the last one here, no, it will be that one there. Edit sketch, find from there to the end of the wagon. 10.16. So these two panels are then going to be the same. Now I'm wondering if that panel there and these two look the same as well. So probably are. So again, I'm going to just play around with that in Fusion. Um, if we this one, edit sketch. Okay, so if we can define from there to there, it's six six point two four. We'll keep it at that. Finish that sketch. And then this one here will define from there to there. It's 6 .4. So those two are now the same. We need to do the same on this one. That one there. We're going to define from there to there. Right. That's because let's leave this constraint here, which is selecting the midpoint between them two. So now we can find the uh, okay. So the next thing I need is to fix that extrusion across the top there. That one. That was set to object, I believe. So it should be that one there. Join it. OK, 
Okay, so the next thing we've got to think about is this one and the step up. Now that panel looks a lot bigger. I reckon that should be 6.34s to match these ones. I wonder whether I can maybe make these panels smaller. I think I'm going to do that actually. I'm going to make them in six. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it will open this gap up a little bit here. Close this one up a little bit. It still doesn't look quite right. Where's the middle one we're going to need to slightly bring it slightly to the offset? It's fine with that position. Could be just a trick of the eye, but I think this definitely looks like it should be wider. Yeah, so looking at this photo, if we look at this position here, that's halfway between these two posts here, which is sort of roughly where it is. The next one is, again, closer towards this middle one here, which it does look like that, that in that position. Come from the other way, this post looks it's a little bit closer. So it's halfway between them two posts. This next one, think of that. Again, it's halfway. And then the next one, a little bit. I think that maybe we need to just reduce the width of these panels just a little bit. I'm just going to edit these sketches. I'm going to change these. I'm going to go to 5.5. Measure this. We've got 5.5, or we know we've got 5.5 .5 across there. The distance between these two, that's 5.6. So yeah, we're there or thereabouts now. That 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 would be this panel, this panel, this panel, and this panel would all be pretty much even all the way across now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it in that position there. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it in that position there. So we've got that those looking sort of even across all the wagon there. So the next thing I want to look at is the, the end ones here. So we're going to create a sketch, we're going to do it on the end surface. Again using the rectangle I'm going to align it with the height of 
the other rings. I've come to the end. I'm going to go 0.35, so it's half the width, because when we move it across, the other half will be there. The height will be 7 to match. Let's define the bottom there. And then I can select these, extrude these forwards, uh, 0.7. I'm going to keep these as new bodies so that I can mirror them. And then I'm going to draw on this end panel, just a rectangle at the top here, same as it was before. 0.7 part 0.7 and then we can extrude this I'm going to extrude the end of that one I'm going to tell it to be a new body as well um, and then we're going to move these across on the mid plane that one mid plane one which is halfway along the wagon here we're going to mirror be 49 and 10 on the mid plane 1. That puts them down on the other end. And then we can combine body 1 with the next four bodies. Click on OK. We've got a sketch to be on there. Let's put this line here. I'm just going to turn that off. And we turn the canvas off so we can see what we've got. So now we've got those handrails. But when we mirror the wagon across, that'll be no. So we're going to copy the wagon. We won't mirror it. We'll copy it, rotate it through 90 degrees, so that uh, it's the same both sides. So I'm going to leave that lesson at the end here. This video at the end here. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please press the like and subscribe button to make sure you're notified when we upload more more content.